What's going on, SWAT? It's T Major here, and I am working out at the new Navy Fitness Facility here in Coronado in San Diego. So I'm super, super pumped to have loads of new equipment and loads of new space to work out with you guys. Take a quick look at this beaver kid. This is insane, right? We have battle ropes, we have kettlebells, we have landmines. We have such a plethora of equipment I'm so excited to use. But today, what I want to focus on is I want to give you guys a quick kettlebell tutorial because I am sick of seeing people do this wrong. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys how to grip a kettlebell the correct way and how to start the movement. All right. First thing you do is you want to grab a kettlebell that you, get, you are comfortable working with. Don't get overzealous. I know you're a lot of strong people out there, but this is not so much about strength, much more about function and technique. Okay, so get a court, uh, kettlebell that you can work with. The first part of starting your swing is gripping the bell. So you want to place the bell in between your feet. You want to grip the top of the bell and you want to roll your shoulder blades back. What this is doing is this is squeezing what's called your spinal erectors and it's protecting your spine and your core. So the first thing I see a lot of people doing wrong is a rounded back. This is no good. Picking up the bell from here is no good. This is how you injure yourself, okay? So first mistake I see people make, that's the first thing you need to correct. Second thing is how people start their swing. This is not a shoulder exercise. If your shoulders get fatigued or if your shoulders hurt, while you kettlebell swing, you're doing it wrong. Here's what I see. Rounded back, standing up, and then lifting and raising and trying to swing. Here's the correct way. Grip the bell, squeeze your spinal erectors, and you start with the hike. You start in the backward position, and then you pop your hips and extend, okay? So, second thing I see wrong, right? is people with a rounded back picking up the bell off the ground and thinking it's a shoulder raise going into your swing. So let me show you a full swing and then we're almost ready to go. Squeeze the spinal erectors, start with the hike, boom, pop and explode at the hips. So the last thing I see people doing wrong is thinking that this is a squatting motion. It's not a squatting motion. The kettlebell swing is made to build power in the hips, okay? So it is much like your broad jump would be if you were going to jump for distance. So as I throw my arms back and I jump to explode, this is what we're trying to build, okay? We're adding weight and resistance to this motion to build dynamic strength and power, okay? So we're going to eliminate the squat motion. This, here, thing, and a squat, okay? It's good. Now, any form of exercise is typically good, but when you're trying to perform a kettlebell swing for the, the purpose of generating power in the hips, then this motion is incorrect, okay? So here's what you want to do. You want a hip hinge. You want to hinge from the hips, okay? The bell needs to stay tight to your crotch. And what this does is it throws your hips back, tightens the hamstrings so that you can pop, pop and explode from the hips. Boom. And then the bell should fly. Okay? Here. Boom. Here. Notice how the bell is staying tight in my crotch. My back is staying flat. And I'm popping and exploding from the hips. Boom. Boom. Okay? The distance that my hips go back they should return, okay? This is how you build the power in the hips. Here's a quick lesson on your kettlebell swing. I'm T Major, you already know this, and I cannot wait to create more videos for you in this amazing training space. Thanks for video and for me, Heather. No Appreciate problem. it.